Hi, I'm Jen, and today I'm showing how to hang a curtain rod. Hanging a curtain rod seems like an easy enough task, but it can get frustrating quickly if you find out that you haven't hung the curtain rod level or that it's too high or too low. Here's what you need to know to get the job done right. The first step in any curtain rod installation is to measure the window. To hang curtains that partially cover the sides of the window, add two to five inches to each side of the window. To add curtains that hang completely outside of the window's frame, which is my personal preference, add eight to 15 inches. To fine tune this measurement, I use a stud finder to locate the studs beside the window. If a stud is close to my desired location, I shift my placement slightly so that my mounting screws can set directly into a stud. If you can't shift the placement of the hangers to land directly on a stud, just make sure that you use wall anchors during installation. Additionally, if your curtain rod is more than four feet wide or is a particularly thin curtain rod, you may want to consider adding a center bracket to prevent the middle of the rod from sagging. Next, I'll measure the height from the floor to the top edge of my window's frame. A curtain rod usually sets about four inches above the window, but some people raise it even higher to make the room feel taller. Just remember if you raise your curtain rod closer to the ceiling, the curtain panels do come in standard heights of 84 inches, 95 inches, 108 inches, and 120 inches. So if you raise it closer to the ceiling, you may need to buy custom curtains or buy a longer panel and hem the base. Since my window already runs pretty close to the ceiling and I wanna use a standard length curtain, I'm gonna be hanging my rod nearly level with the top edge of my molding. It's also important to decide the kind of curtain that you're gonna be hanging. The most standard types are grommet, which are metal lined holes in the curtain, tabs, which hang above the top edge of the curtain, rings, which clip onto the curtain and hang on the rod, and pocket sleeve, which slides over and completely conceals the rod. The kind of curtain you're hanging can slightly adjust the height of the panel. So make sure that you have your final selection on hand before you mount the rod. Now I can measure and mark the locations of the hangers on the wall. In an open space, this can be difficult to keep your measurement level and to get it in the exact same location on both sides of the window. To do this today, I'm gonna to be creating a simple cardboard template. To create the template, cut the corner out of a square piece of cardboard so it can fit over the top corner of the window frame. Measure and mark the desired location of the hardware. Create two holes using the hanger as a guide. Now place the template on the wall, slide it against the window frame, and mark the position of the holes. Drive the screws into the wall and position the hanger. Flip to the opposite side of the window to make the remaining marks, install the screws, and place the hanger. Feed the curtain onto the rod, and then place it on the hooks. Twist on the finials, and then tighten the set screws to hold the assembly in place. If you're wondering how many panels to add to the rod, a general rule of thumb if you want your curtains functioning is to add enough panels to cover twice the width of the window. Luckily, mine are only a decorative accent, so I can just add one panel to each side of the window to finish the look. I hope you enjoyed this project. For more easy home and woodworking projects, visit the House One channel on thisoldhouse.com. I'm Jen Largis, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.